Yo, what's good guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys the 5 mistakes every new PC gamer makes. If you guys do enjoy, please consider subscribing, I appreciate it so much. Games are hella expensive and sometimes people including me spend way too much money on games when they could have just waited for discounts or just watched this video. Because trust me, I've just found the best website to save so much money on all your games. And this is CD Keys. As you see here, you can find so many discounts on so many games, even shark cards. Look, this shark card was £60, but now it's only £23. I know it seems sketchy, but I brought most of my games off this website and every time I've got the game. Basically, they just give you a code and you put it into your Steam or whatever and you get the game for so much more cheaper. Look, 93% off. Another way to get games so much more cheaper is Steam sales. They happen like every single day and I'd recommend just checking Steam just in case your favourite game is a lot cheaper on there because you can save so much money. Moving on to the next mistake is using controller way too much. There are of course some games like Rocket League that recommend this, but games like Fortnite and Warzone come in mainly from controller play lobbies to PC lobbies, you'll be at a big disadvantage as they move a lot faster and have so many more keybinds than you. Now moving on to the next one is changing your keybinds. Now there's of course the default settings like WSD to move, shift to sprint and R to reload, but there's some games like Fortnite that you need extra keybinds to build, reload and change your guns. There's lots of videos that show you the best keybinds to use. Although they can be really good for them, they're not necessarily going to be good for you. So I always recommend hopping into the training and testing out different keybinds and memorising them so you don't have to look at your keyboard when playing. So the next tip is making sure your computer is the best it can be and up to date. This includes making sure your Windows is up to date. And you can do this by typing into Windows Update into the search bar then press check for updates. And also make sure your graphics card is up to date. You can do this by going into the software and press update drivers. If you don't have a software for your graphics card, you can go into the website and it'll probably be there. The last tip I'm going to be giving you guys today is graphic settings in game. When moving from console to PC, you're probably overwhelmed with how many graphic settings there are. But as you're moving from console, you probably don't have an amazing PC to run all these settings. So if your game feels laggy, it could be that your settings are at the max. You should also disable VSync for more FPS if your game feels like a PowerPoint. Another way you can boost your FPS is by going to the search bar and typing up control panel. Then go to the search and type up power options and make sure it's on high performance. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. I appreciate it so much. If you guys did enjoy this video, I think you'll enjoy the video on the screen now. So go check that out. Alright, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.